Please tell me what crime I committed. Or what you're charging you me with right So then I do not have to in, give you my ID or identify myself because I've not yes, committed you do a crime. For no, my I, no, I do not. I've not committed a crime and I'm not under arrest. It states it in the law. And and you're and you're you're not even receptive. The fact is that you're pulling me over to have a conversation and now you're having your sergeant come out because I won't identify myself for your safety. But obviously if you had a concern for your safety, you would be either holding me at gunpoint or you wouldn't have approached my window. You would have backed up and went to your vehicle by now and waited for your supervisor if you were really that concerned for your safety. So explain to me how it is that you're still concerned for your safety if you're still standing here having a conversation with me. It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Okay, guys, check out this guy's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. Here's the thing. He got pulled over for doing absolutely nothing wrong. I want you to understand what's going on in this video. This guy is being pulled over so this police lady can explain something to him. That's not criminal. She's trying to guess. She's trying to explain her actions instead of just doing her job. So here's the thing, law enforcement, you know, they get away with all these things, man. They get away with a lot. And that's just the way that it is in the United States and maybe all over the world too, but law enforcement cannot be trusted. All original links in the description. Remember guys, filming the police is your right. Okay, ma'am, I'm recording for my own safety. The speed limit is 65. I was going 66, and you're on my ass, and then you tailgate me, and then you go faster than me. You're an officer of the law. The speed limit states that it's 65, so you are not allowed to go past that speed limit, period. What makes you think that just because you're an officer that you can go... What did I do wrong? I would like to identify I do not have to. I have not committed a crime. What was my crime? Please tell me the charge that I committed. Charge, the 214. Can you come to my 20? Please tell me the crime that I committed. I wanted to have a proper conversation with you to let you know that I can't catch people that are doing 80. Where does it state in the law that you're allowed to go over the speed limit unless it's an emergency? Please tell me the NRS code that states that or the DMV codes and traffic laws that state that you can do that. Okay, but look. No, please say that to me. I'm, I'm invoking my Fifth Amendment right. Do you know what my Fifth Amendment right is? No, I don't. Tell me. Okay, you're an officer of the law. Fifth Amendment right states that when I invoke that, whatever charge or crime you're committing me of, you have to go ahead and state that and show it to me therein. Okay. So please tell me the NRS code that states that you're allowed to go faster than 65 unless it is an emergency. I'm trying to enforce public safety because my radar was flashing 75, 78, 79. So somebody up there is speeding. And nine times out of ten, when they're speeding, they're making unsafe lane changes, right? Okay. You were way behind me, ma'am. I saw you long ago, and you came really quick up along me. And maybe, tech you, went faster. maybe because you were doing my cruise control okay. set at 70. Ma'am, I have a breathalyzer, okay? It records everything. Okay, so it records my speed. I stay at 65. I use my cruise control. Okay, so I'm glad that you do your speed limit and all that, but I'm just trying to let you know that my radar is flashing 78. Okay. So again, you ask, tell me, no, please. You can get me from 147. Please tell me what crime I committed, or what you're charging you me with. Right any so crime. then I do not have to in, give you my ID or identify myself because I've not yes, committed you a crime. No, my I. <laughs> So here's the thing, the police are used to getting their way. Remember guys, a lot of people comply with law enforcement and they're not used to someone standing up for their rights. So when someone does stand up for their rights, they don't know what to do. So they get upset, they get mad, or they'll try to explain their actions. When all she had to do was keep driving and doing her job. Remember guys, the police, they just, it's just weird. They just do a lot of weird things, unfortunately. Get back to the video, guys, man. Get back to the video. Because I've not yes, committed a crime. No I, no, I do not. I've not committed a crime, and I'm not under arrest. It states it in the law. It's my constitutional right. my safety, right. if I ask you? No, I do not. I've not committed a crime, and I'm not under arrest. It states it in the law. It's my constitutional right. my safety, right. if I ask you? First off, I just wanted to have a conversation with you. Okay. Letting you know... Instead of having a conversation at 65 mile an hour, mm -hmm. that my radar was flashing, I was trying to catch somebody up there, right? Okay? That's my God-given right to protect the safety of the community. When somebody's doing 80 up there, 
They're normally zigzagging out of traffic. That makes it unsafe for a 92-year-old grandma. And I don't like that because my mother drives these roads, okay? And if I can't get around you, because there was a silver vehicle over here in front of me in the uh, HOV lane. Because they were going the speed limit. Perhaps. Right, but so... So if someone was going 70 and your radar was going off, they obviously would have went past me and you would have been able to see that. But you were behind me for quite a bit. So please explain to me how it is that if your radar went off past 70 and no one's passing me, that you detected that. Well, I'm, I'm I just detected my radar detected. That, okay, fine. Your equipment, right. your radar device detected. So are you it. on paper? Am I on paper? Yeah. As far as what parole or probation? Uh -huh. I do not have to identify myself. I don't. I have not committed a crime. I don't think you have any Fourth Amendment rights if you're on paper. I don't have to disclose anything. And if you really want to go down that road, no, I'm not on probation or parole. Just to satisfy your need to go ahead and pry information from me. I have the right to drive on public roadways in the U.S. without any infringement upon me you know, or a papers see, this check. Is, this is, I just wanted to have a conversation with and you. And I'm just letting you know that you're an officer of the law and you're supposed to uphold it. So you shouldn't be speeding or tailgating. If I tailgated you, you would have pulled me over immediately. But you had no idea what I was doing. If you really had an emergency, the second you got around me, you would have took off to go get that person, but you didn't. No, because I felt like I, I owed you an explanation. Okay, what's more important, giving me an explanation or protecting the roads and safety as you're so stating you're trying to uphold? So here's the thing. So the police is trying to explain herself when all she had to do was just keep driving. She's literally wasting this man's time. This man is doing something important, trying to take care of some important things, and this lady officer does not care. At all. Oh, by the way, Van Ellen. That, that's and fine. My P number is four eight three. For the record. No, that's fine. Yeah, but we're just waiting on Sergeant. No, that's now. fine. Sergeant can come out. Not a problem. So he can uh, give you some further education. As further well. education, ma'am. I've been researching law and all the rights that I have, and the thing is, is that officers don't like See, it when people is, know the this law. Is, this is the tragedy. Because I just wanted to have, give you an explanation rather than to do it at 65 mile an hour. Then that was I your choice to, to do it. You... And, and, you're, and you're, you're not even receptive. The fact is that you're pulling me over to have a conversation and now you're having your sergeant come out because I won't identify myself for your safety. But obviously if you had a concern for your safety, you would be either holding me at gunpoint or you wouldn't have approached my window. You would have backed up and went to your vehicle by now and waited for your supervisor if you were really that concerned for your safety. So explain to me how it is that you're still concerned for your safety if you're still standing there having a conversation with me. And I'm being very eloquent, I'm not cursing, I'm not being rude. I'm just stating my rights. And, I, and I, I'm all for that. You know, but, and that's the tragedy, you know, because you're not even receptive to a conversation. Because of the fact that I try to state to you that you don't have the right to speed. I, I'm tired of seeing these officers go speeding and then someone goes ahead and does the same speed as them and then they get pulled over. That's entrapment. That's not right. You're supposed to uphold the law. You took an oath. You're supposed to know the law on top of that. So when I ask for what NRS code or violation that I went ahead and committed or infraction, you're supposed to, as an officer of the law, state that. That's supposed to be your knowledge. You're supposed to know it. And the fact that you can't give me one is very concerning. Mm -hmm. So like I was saying, she calls for backup because she doesn't know what to do. So now she got to call her supervisor. He's going to come in and explain the situation, which he has done nothing wrong. And instead of her just saying, you know what, just have a wonderful day and leave. She needs to get more officers involved unnecessarily. So this is why I always tell you to film law enforcement in the United States. It's important that you always film the police people get you know you gotta film the cops these guys I, I, you gotta film the police man I know people think that they shouldn't but you should and you, you should right get back to the video guys and enjoy yeah. 
Hello, Sergeant Kelly. How are you? How are you doing today? I've been better. Yeah. A little bit uh, upset at the fact that your officer is stating the claims that she's stating. It's very unprofessional and upsetting that an officer of the law can't give me the NRS code that apparently I'm violating, but then she tells me I have not committed a crime or a charge, so I do not have to identify myself. And if she really felt that concerned for her safety, she would have stepped away from my window and she would have backed up and waited until you, her supervisor, came to assess the situation. Obviously, she's still standing there having a full conversation with me for eight minutes. She obviously does not have a concern for her safety. She just wants to do a papers check because I know when you run the ID, it goes into the database and it shows that I had an interaction with law enforcement. And I'm not having that on my record, so I do not have to declare my identity because I have not committed a crime. I'm not under arrest. Okay. You, you're, you're right. You're not under arrest at the moment, but you were detained? She never so, stated that, officer. All right. Anytime, that, uh, anytime an emergency vehicle stops you, you are detained. Okay, just so you know, all right? You may not be under arrest, but you are detained at that moment. But I still do not have to present my ID. Okay. I still do not have to present my ID. Technically, by law, you don't have to present your ID. Thank you but, for stating that. But by law, you do have to provide your name. No, I do not. Okay, I'm not That's preventing identity. That, that's, okay. that's giving it. I'm but, not going to okay. argue with you. After speaking with her, you're free to go at the moment. Okay. But for future reference, you do have to state your name. Okay, and for future reference, you need to advise your officer that just because she's a law enforcement official, if I had tailgated her the way she tailgated me, you guys would have pulled me over in a heartbeat. I'm not going to argue. I wasn't there. I didn't see that. Okay. Uh, after speaking with her, you're free okay, to go. Okay, can I have your badge number, please? Uh, 214. Okay. I'll be making a formal complaint since you do not want to go ahead and reprimand your officer for the fact that she was driving unsafely. Okay. What I do with my officer is a personnel matter, which is not public record, just so you know. And All like right? I said, I will go to your superiors, but thank you. I know I'm free to go. I'm just stating for the record that I will be making a formal complaint because you refuse to go ahead and let your officer know that she does not have the authority to tailgate or to speed unless it is an emergency. Okay. I'm not going to debate any of that. With That's you. fine. I'll go on my merry way. You have a nice day, officer. Use the shoulder here to get up to speed. Merge over my square. Just be careful, okay? Yep. All original links are in the description. I'm out, guys. Peace. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now. How do I turn this thing off? Here it is.